Well, Danny Green is ready to rumble, coming out of retirement tonight to take on Roberto the Beast Bolonti in Melbourne. The heavy-hitting Argentinian was a last-minute replacement for Slovakian boxer Tomas Kovacs, who pulled out last week with a neck injury. And the man himself, Danny the Green Machine Green, joins us now from his pre-fight lair. Uh, Danny, this is amazing. We're speaking to you in the moment before you're about to go out and get belted in the head and try to belt someone else in the head. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm, I'm used to it, I guess, so uh, I've been doing it for a long time, so I'm, I'm you know, I have a look at my head, I do have a, a head that's um, rather impervious to punishment, so it's, um, I've been blessed with a, with a rough noggin, but uh, I'm just, just chilling and, and ready to rumble. No nerves? Uh, a few nerves, you know, just, just do the pre-fight routine and, um, you know, just kind of just stay cool and stay calm and just excuse me for a second, with, hold on one sec. Oh. <laughs> uh, left foot red, boys. Left foot red. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I have to say, Danny. <laughs> it's a whole production. Hey, mate. The gloves. The gloves. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Danny. Uh, yeah, so we're just just taking it easy, staying cool, staying calm, and yeah. got the boys here, and it's how we, you know, I like to relax and just take my mind off the job. Yeah. The older I get, the more mature I've become and more focused I've become. Yeah. <laughs> You have almost answered uh, my question, but look, seriously, if I may be indiscreet, you're 42 now. How has that changed the way you prepare for a fight? Uh, oh, look, it's pro I probably just adjusted the way I do go about my business, and we've, been, we've done this before a couple of times, and people probably think, oh, I'm, taking it, I'm, I'm not taking this serious. This is my way of relaxing and staying cool and staying calm and, and taking my mind off the job, because in a couple of hours, I, I've got a big job ahead of me against Belonte. Now, you prepared uh, all this time to, to, to fight Kovacs, and now last week they did the old switcheroo, and now you're fighting uh, the beast Belonte. How is he different? A lot of people are saying this is going to be actually a tougher fight than, than what Kovacs would have been. Yeah, Pete, it is. Just one sec. Left hand green, boys. You know, um, it, is, it is the same. You know, Belonte is, 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 a, is, a, is a, you know, he's a guy who comes forward. He's not afraid. He's never been stopped. Two world title fights. He fought for the world title in Germany last year. So he's a, he's a very experienced guy. 36 wins, uh, 26 KOs from 39 fights. He's a cool guy. He's, he's not afraid of me, and I'm, I'm not afraid of him. And, uh, you know, that's what the, I guess that's what the people want to see. They want to see a, a good fight. And I, got, I like the look of him. I like the kind of style of bloke he is because he's a tough man. He's a hard man, but he doesn't try and be intimidating or anything like that. He just knows he's a hard, tough man, and we're looking forward to getting it on. Very nice. Not really trash talk, though. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, there's no, well, you know, uh, these will start trash talking in about a couple of hours' time, guys. So. <laughs> All right. All right, good luck with the fight tonight, mate. Would you please thank Denny Green? Thanks very much, guys.